the matter? Tammy, did you get someone else's dress? No, it's mine. It's just maybe a little tight. I don't think the dress is the problem, Tammy. You have put on a lot of weight. I don't need a few pounds. Oh, my gosh. Tammy. Come on, Gwen. I can lose it. In three days? I can't have you up on the stage looking like 10 pounds of potato shoved in a three-pound sack. Gwen? No, I'm sorry. You cannot be part of my wedding. And unless you can get it together and get back on board, you may as well just leave the church, too. That was Jennifer Grey and her riveting new Lifetime movie, Gwen Shambling, Starving for Salvation. You know, just obviously this is a character and I couldn't help but to think about the last time we mm -hmm. were in a conversation, your book had just come out mm -hmm. and you, there were so many poignant things, but you talked about after your decision to be open regarding the surgeries that you'd mm -hmm. had, that people tried to define you by a surgery. Mm -hmm. That you said, and, and you say in the book, like no one should be put in these categories mm -hmm. where you are defined by the way you look. Mm -hmm. And you felt it firsthand in Hollywood. Mm -hmm. Everyone kept saying, what happened to Jennifer mm -hmm. Grey? Not how great of an actress you are and were. Or be curious. Or be curious. Be curious because nobody knows, everyone just assumes they know the story, yeah. you know? And I don't assume I know what's going on with Gwen, but I know that she's suffering yeah. because for her, to behave the way she does. I mean, I heard you guys gasping. It's, it's so cruel. It's yeah. so, it's, there's no empathy. Mm. And the truth is we are all struggling. We are all trying so hard to live our best lives yeah. and feel good about ourselves. I know, and that's what, you know, in your book, you talk about, you, in, you know, obviously you're, you're a mama bear, so you protect mm -hmm. your daughter's yes, privacy. Yeah. Um, and I understand that, but you talk about in the book with your daughter, Stella Gregg, that she's 21 and you are very mindful about the words you use about body and perfection and seeking um, that balance and how mm -hmm. you talk to her. Well, all I'm ever really doing is saying to her what I'm saying to myself all the time because the world is really, really loud about what you need to be to be enough yeah. or how much less you need to be to not be too much, or what shape, what number, what money, what car, what yeah. relationship, what size leg, where your thighs touch, where yeah. they don't, yeah. size yeah. of yeah. your shoe, size of your ears, size of your nose, <laughs> size of length of your hair. It's just all so superficial. Yeah. And we all know our deeper selves know that is not our value, yeah. but it's so normalized in this culture, uh. right? And can you imagine how much we could get done if we harness that energy into kindness? Yes. Learning new yes. things, yes. educating yes. ourselves. I know. I, I mean, I, it's so true. I mean, listen, you always drop gems and give us great gifts. I need to know the biggest gift of all. You are executive producing and starring the sequel. Mm -hmm. I got to ask you, where do things stand on our sequel we've been waiting for? The Dirty Dancing. You see? See that? I tell you what. Because of what I just saw in this beautiful studio audience, it's taking longer than I would have imagined only because it has to be right. Yeah. And I'm not in a hurry. Do you feel extra pressure because you're also executive producer? Well, I'm executive producer and will reprise. Yes, reprise I your will role. reprise my role as baby slash Francis. <laughs> but there will never be the Patrick Swayze Jennifer Grey ever again. There will never be Johnny and baby ever again. And it needs to feel like it has the same soul and simplicity and heart of that original. And I have no, I'm in no hurry. You're in no hurry. I would do it fast if it could come fast, but if it's not coming fast, <laughs> I'm gonna take my time and get it right. We are happy for that. I love that. Get it right, because we'll be right here waiting whenever it happens.
Congratulations on this. Oh, can I tell you one Of thing? course you can. So one of the conditions when I said I would do this, I said, I need great wigs. I need it made by Rob Pickens. <laughs> Jamie Lee Curtis goes, have to be the gre greatest wigs. I need the greatest dialect coach, yes. Liz Himmelstein. And then I said, and I need to be able to do a PSA yes. for Nita, which is the National Eating Disorder Association. <laughs> It is the number one highest mortality rate. The number one. People are dying from this disease and the shame that they already have for having it keeps them from seeking help. And the longer you have it, the harder it is to recover. And I want people to, I want to raise awareness. And you have that PSA mm -hmm. airing in the program. At the program, end of the program. The of the program. Because I, w I want to make sure that if it wasn't enough, you saw the extremity yeah. and the darkness where she was coming from. We are experiencing a national epidemic as millions of Americans suffer from eating disorders. And while these illnesses are serious, even life-threatening, the good news is they are treatable. So if you or someone you love is struggling with an eating disorder, you are not alone. The National Eating Disorders Association is dedicated to helping individuals in the grips of this complex health crisis. For support resources and treatment options, contact nationaleatingdisorders.org forward slash helpline. Jennifer, thank you so much. We're so happy you finally got here in person. Yeah, the new Lifetime original movie, The Gwen Shamblin Story, Starving for Salvation, premieres Saturday night at 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Central. And guess what?